Open Kira to prepare the models for print. Select Open Files from the File menu. Select the STL files that you have downloaded from Tinkercad. Click the Open button once you have located your file. The model will be placed on the build plate. This represents the 3D printer's build area. You can move your model by enabling object translations with the tools on the left side of the screen. Use the red, blue, and green axis arrows to move the model on the build plate. Click this icon to scale the model if needed. This will change the dimensions of the model. Make sure uniform scaling is checked so the model does not distort. You can scale the models using the object handles. Load all the prints for each group onto the build plate. Some models may need to be rotated to provide the best print results. Try to keep models flat and positioned in a way that reduces the need to generate extra support material. The rotate function is available on the left side of the toolbar as the third icon down. This allows you to rotate the object along the X, Y, or Z axis by dragging these circles. Additionally, Kira has a lay flat option that helps move the model to the flattest position possible. Move and position each model on the build plate. Ensure that all students have an area to print their models. Only scale if necessary, as this changes the expected dimensions of the object. Successful prints rely on correct print settings. Start by ensuring you have the correct material settings. We will be using PLA in the printer. Also ensure that the nozzle setting matches the nozzle that is currently installed in the Ultimaker 2 Plus. For automatically generated settings, click the recommended label. You can adjust the layer height using this slider. If your model does not require fine detail, then you can speed up the time it takes to print your model by increasing the layer height. Infill amounts can be adjusted here. This increases or decreases the internal density of the object. Higher infill amounts create stronger parts, but also require more time and material to print. 10 to 15% is a sufficient infill amount for most plastic parts. The Generate Support option is only necessary if the model has overhangs or angles that cannot be printed without an underlying support structure. This option is required for some models, but does increase printing time and the amount of material required to print. Also, some support structures may be difficult to remove. Build Plate Adhesion provides an extra amount of plastic around the model to help it stick to the build plate. This is necessary for models that are tall or have a small footprint. This is not necessary for models with a large footprint. Once you are satisfied with the layout and print settings, click the Save to Removable Drive button to save the file to the SD card. Once the file has been saved, you may eject the SD card. Remove the SD card from the computer and insert it into the Ultimaker 2 Plus.